In this video, we'd like to take data, store, and cost data from a data sheet and summarize it on a separate sheet. That means we need to add here all of the costs for Aldo from this sheet. We're going to use the SUMIF function and sheet references. So I'm going to use the equal sign and then sum if. Sum if has three arguments. It's great for adding with one criteria. We want to add up not all of the costs from this sheet over here, but just the ones for Aldo, and then just the ones for this one, just for the ones for this one. All right, there's three arguments. The range, that's the range that has the criteria. Now we have to look over on this sheet, all right? And then I'm going to do a little trick here. I'm going to type a comma and skip over that argument and put the criteria in first. So I'm going to click right here. That's a relative cell reference, so when I copy this down, it will move to each uh, criteria. Now I'm going to click back in this argument, and I need a range from this sheet. So what do I do? Instead of just clicking on something on this sheet, I have to first click on the Sheet tab and then highlight the range. I'm going to click in the cell A2 and use the keyboard shortcut control shift down arrow. Now you can see the formula bar up here shows our formula. Data explanation point. That explanation point is a the syntax for sheet reference. So we have A2 to A7. Now I'm going to need to lock this, so I'm going to hit the F4 key and you can see it puts the dollar sign, so we lock it. Now here's our screen tip. I'm going to click at the end, type a comma to get to the sum range, and now the sum range is the cost. Now an interesting thing about the sum if function, which the sum ifs, that's a, another function with an s for multiple criteria. For the sum range here, if I click on B2 and then hit the F2 because I, I need that lock, I don't need to put the whole range here because sum if is programmed. That size right there determines the number of rows to add. So you, if for sum if, you only have to select the first cell in the comma you want. It will know from this range how many to go down from there. That's quite different than the sum ifs function, which is a, a different function. All right, now I'm going to close parentheses and then control enter. Now I'm going to copy this down. Maybe I want to add some accounting uh, format. So control one is the keyboard shortcut num for format cells dialog box, number tab, accounting, and I'm going to click um, the pound here. There it is, right? There. So instead of dollars, I'm going to use pounds. Click OK. If we select the last cell and hit F2, you can see our formula worked perfectly. It's looking from the data sheet. Uh, the criteria A2 to A16, using this as its criteria, and then uh, summarizing the B column. All right, see you next video.